I mean, the more you chew it, the more flavor comes bursting. Absolutely, tons of flavor. It's all packed in there. I'm getting yeah. so many different tastes, which is great. <clears throat> Hey, girl peeps, thanks for joining us. Jeff, Chris, no Nate, no Nate today. Nate's uh, on family vacation. We gave him a pass, no big deal. One of the 17 that he takes a year, you, you know, who's counting? He's got the life. We're still working here. You're getting heavy. <laughs> uh, Stromboli's, that's what we're doing today. We had a sub uh, reach out to us, I think her name was Anna, asked us to do this. She said, it's very easy not to mess up. <laughs> Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. <laughs> sure. So. She put the griddle guys to the test. We're gonna give it a roll. We don't know how this is gonna go. We're hoping good. We used that uh, two ingredient pizza dough. Yep. So you'll, From your, one of Jeff's videos. You'll have a, a link at the end of this video. Uh, uh, what we have, you'll, you'll see it when we make it. We'll, we'll show you exactly how we made this in a bit. We got the uh, two ingredient pizza dough. We'll have a link at the end of this. I think we talked about that earlier, but we'll have a link at the end of this uh, showing you that. We got enough of two in there right now, at least. So, let's see here. Are you gonna cut that in half? You wanna break? Cut that in half, break it apart. I'm gonna watch Jeff work his magic here. I was gonna say, with those flour down, there you go. <laughs> so when we roll this out, because we're doing a stromboli on the griddle, um, we're gonna roll it out so it's really thin on the bottom, and then it can be slightly thicker on the top. And the reason being is because when you're cooking it on the griddle, the outside's getting nice and crispy, but the inside isn't getting that crispy. So you don't want it to taste doughy. Yeah, you're really not baking it, so it's kind of, you work it, You want the heat to come through and yeah. cook it as much as it can. We didn't really have much for a rolling pin. We're on location, as we're, we told, as we mentioned. <laughs> we're, we're on location, so we're improvising. This is my, uh, the new organic soda organic that they make. Coke. Have you ever heard of that? Organic Coke. It's green, so it's got to be organic. It's got to be good. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I washed the bottle beforehand, and uh, we're just rolling this up. So we're improvising. <laughs> you know, I, I cannot find a roller here. I looked everywhere, and I don't want to bother Don, but this seems to be working pretty well, Jeff. What do you think? It's working. And like I said, we're, we're doing this thin on the inside, so that's going to work out well. So we're going to keep rolling this out, guys. As soon as he's done with that, he's going to pass it over to me. We're going to roll it up. We're going to get the uh, Italian stromboli. Stromboli. Yeah. Stromboli. I'll be back. Rolled it out. Nice and thin on that side. A little bit thicker on this side. Relatively uh, squarish, rectangularish. So we'll start on this end right here. You're going to start Maybe on that end right there. Work your way that way. Work your way that way. Okay. Nice and thin. We'll slide that over. Perfect. I'm gonna stop building uh, the stromboli. <laughs> I'm gonna go with some salami. Sauce first? Oh, or? sauce! Jeez, Come thank on. you, Jeff. Thank you. What, what is the sauce? It's Rao's. Uh, Just pizza sauce? Pizza sauce, yeah. Rao's. R A O. It's nice stuff. He uh, spent the big bucks today. They really, it is the most expensive one, isn't it? Really good, uh, really good pasta sauce too. Rayos, Raos, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they do. Their garlic, garlic is one of the best I've ever had in my life. All right, so we got that. Now we're gonna start with salami. I'm gonna to try to keep this as flat as I can because when we roll this, we want to still keep it as flat as we can. Yeah, just for even cooking. Next, I'm gonna go some provolone cheese. Uh, let's go with hot capicola. We'll list what we're putting in here uh, in the description, guys, so you all know what we're doing. I think one of the benefits of these is you can really kind of put whatever you want in it, right? You, absolutely, you can. You make it any way you want, whatever you like. Uh, pepperoni salami, I like it. Yeah. That is definitely going to be heavy. This is going to be a tough roll, but I have faith in you, Jeff. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, next, 
So I think I'm gonna do probably the hottest one, the mozzarella. It's been sitting out. It's a little mozzarella cheese. I am actually getting very hungry doing this. <laughs> And then we're going to do, what was it, sweet capicola? Sweet capicola. We got hot ham, sweet capicola, salami. And I'm going to finish it up with some, how's that look? Looks better than my dough does right now. It's sticking. <laughs> so this is uh, the spicy red spread, sandwich spread. It's basically hot, it's all minced up together. And I'm just going to put a little bit of this in here all over, just... It can be overbearing, it can be pretty spicy, so you don't want it too much, but for what we're doing being an Italian stromboli, this, this fits in very nicely. All right. How you doing, Jeff? You almost done? Yeah, I'm just making it really nice and thin at the, the end, so that way it doesn't get doughy when we're cooking it. So you're gonna roll this that way. Give you plenty of room on the end there. You want me to roll it? You want me to do it? I'll do it. I'll try to do it. So, the idea being is I use more flour than I just used on this. Keep sticking. Well, we got a little break, but it's not a big deal. Oh, look at that. Oh. Pull this right up. Oh. in a little. I guess if it's uh, not sticking, you just add a little water, it should help, but this isn't that bad. Yeah, you're not really worried if it's torn, just because it's gonna be. Yeah, if it rips a little bit, we're gonna slice this uh, little air holes, right? Yeah, let some of the steam out. Yeah, as Jeff likes to say, done, not no. done. This isn't done done, but it's done. Uh, so, He's going to finish rolling that out, then we're going to load it. He's got a chicken pesto and roasted uh, tomatoes. Yeah, with mozzarella. With some mozzarella, some fresh mozzarella. Fre uh, fresh pesto made from the uh, garden with uh, our basil. Really yeah. good stuff. Yeah, and he did that this morning. So we're going to load that up right now. Put the pesto down. Don't mess it up. <laughs> well, that smells good. Pesto wow. has uh, basil, parmesan, pine nuts, olive oil, pine nuts. Uh, a little salt and pepper. What's the stuff that came out of your garden? Just the basil? Basil, yeah. And uh, some garlic. So you can go with thin with that. because real thin? Yeah. No, it, it packs a punch. It packs, very, uh, packs a punch, but at the same time, it's uh, you, we're trying to avoid too much moisture in these things. Yeah. Well, there you go. I think that's enough. What do you think? That's perfect. Yeah. So with the chicken, leave a little bit on the end there, so that way we can pinch it. How do you do? You want this? Like we we cook this, you'll see it. Uh, that would probably go like long, so that way it's easier to roll. This yeah. way? Yeah, like that. Really? You're gonna roll it this way? Yeah. I would that, go. You go like this. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want? Uh, you gonna use this mozzarella? Or you gonna use the uh, the other stuff? I uh, use that one. The sliced. You sure? Yeah, I'll let you battle with it. Look like fun. <laughs> These are the tomatoes that we uh, roasted on the griddle. Are cooked up. Took the seeds out. That's going to be a tough roll. Yeah, it is, cause <laughs> just because of the chicken. But uh, you sure don't want to use the fresh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, the fresh has uh, a lot of extra moisture in it. Yeah. That looks good. That looks good. Oh, so good. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to take these out to the griddle, get them going. It's going to probably take, what do you think, 25 minutes or so? I think we, yeah. About 20, 25, 25 minutes. minutes. We're gonna start with 10 minutes on each side and then brown up each side really nicely. Hopefully it the, the pushes to the inside so that the inside of the dough cooks. Well, we'll see what happens though. We got low heat going guys, as low as we can go. I don't know, I don't know if that was a smart move. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Stick with this guy, we're gonna cover this. Uh, we got the big dome, Jeff you wanna throw that on? We're gonna give it a 10 minute count right now. And then uh, we're gonna check it after that. Probably flip it over once. But we're really hoping, we, you know we're gonna, we know we're gonna get the crust on the outside. Yeah. What we're hoping is that it kinda goes through more into the inside. 
Um, did we cut the slits, by the way, on the top of those? No, we're going to try and cut it after we flip it. Okay. All right. I think. Let it breathe. Let, yeah. let some of the steam come out. Yeah. It's been 10 minutes. We've got some leakage here. <laughs> Anyways, right. we're going to try to flip it. Do you want to try it again? Let's check the bottom first. Let's just look at it. I mean, it can go a little longer, Jeff, but what do you think? Let's, uh, let's flip it. All right. We'll try and flip it. Try to almost roll it yep. gently. Roll it right over. Perfect. All right. Ah. <laughs> this one might not go as easy. She's bleeding over here. This is the Italian. Oh, there we go. The All Italian. Right, right so, there. That's the Italian cold cut Stromboli, and this one is the... Chicken pesto. Chicken pesto with uh, roasted tomato and mozzarella. Roasted tomato mozzarella. So that looks good. Look at that color. That we're and very we're happy. not going to bother cutting slits into it because there's plenty of holes. Right, this one. <laughs> and you know that's going to happen. It's just, again, you're trying to make that real thin dough. Mm -hmm. um, by the way, we had an extra dough, so what uh, Jeff did is he decided to make a big pizza. Dough. Anyways, so we're going to do what? Another 10 minutes? We're going to do another 10 minutes. Put that cover back. It's looking good so far, though. I'm happy to see that. That's hot. That's good. So time to sauce that. Time to sauce that. Right. And if you have any interest or curiosity in uh, making the pizza, we've said it 17 times. We'll, we'll have a video at the end, a uh, link that you can click on. Yep. Two dough ingredient. It's amazing. Yep. Everybody's horrified. I know I am. And it tastes very good. <laughs> Okay, guys, 10 minutes went. We are ready to... Went and passed. And passed. Hey, that's hot. Who would have thunk? Let's go check the bottom of this, see how we're looking. Well, that was definitely brown. I want to flip that, though. Yeah, so that way we can keep kind of cooking the dough in the middle. This still looks like it's cooking. I mean, not exactly. Oh, that's pretty yeah, good. That's really that's good. That's pretty good. Let's see this one. Trying to do this gentle. There we go. Oh, that looks good. That looks really good. Guys, so f you know, I think we're gonna go a little bit more because that dough still you could I mean it's it's it's, it's still cooked. doughy. It's still a little doughy though. Yeah. I want to cook it a little longer. And we got some more to go on the other side anyway. At this point we're gonna keep doing two minute intervals. Two yeah, minute on that's each a good side. Idea. Keep getting in uh, that's good. so I'm gonna cover it back up. That is a half chicken pesto pizza, half Pepperoni that we just did. Oh, that looks delish. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Anyways, all right, we'll check back in. Leftover two ingredient dough right there. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. A few moments later. I wish I could put these on the side. I mean, it's busting out. It's definitely uh, cooking. It is cooking. Yeah, just flip it. I'm gonna try something, Jeff. What do you think? Nope. No. What if we at least hold it up against the side? Can I cook it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can't really cover it, but yeah. Chris likes to just kind of I'm wing okay it. I'm okay with not covering it. I'm, I want to get these sides a little more cooked because I think it. I mean, touch it with your finger. What do you think? Feels good. Yeah? Think it's good enough? <laughs> Chicken pizza. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Very good. Look at that market, dude. Why don't you just leave it? That's all settling down the bottom. Everything's I know, moving. and then when we... I don't want that. And then when we flip it the other way, it's going to settle the other way. Let's try it out. I don't know, dude. You start here first in the griddle, know. guys. No, I don't like it. It's going to pop out and explode. No, it's not going to pop. As soon as we put it down, it'll flatten out. <laughs> With the magic of time. <laughs> Boom. All right, we just let it go for two minutes. Yeah, and look at it. It fell right over. I told oh. It's going to be perfect. Oh, look at that. This is interesting. All right, Jeff, fix it. All right, it's not as doughy anymore. I can already tell. Yeah, I think what's happening is all that inside oh, yeah. is now all being pushed that goodness. down. Look at that. 
that doesn't mean it doesn't taste great. Yeah, that's much better though. See, we did, we weren't happy with the sides. It was still pretty doughy. So we're just trying to get it cooked up a little bit more. And although uh, I'm not positive this is working well, because I think everything inside is pushing down the bottom. This is working awesome. We'll, we will see if it this actually, is, when we cut it open, as, we'll see what it looks like. As soon as I lay this down, you're going to have nice crispy sides. All right. And it's going to lay perfectly flat. All right. Let's and see. We're going to be back. We'll be back, guys. In one and a half minutes. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> Gotta roll that over. I don't know. It's all. I want to make sure we can get it back to its. Who cares? I know it's all. You're right. It's all in there. But you gotta roll it. No, no, no. Use the. Put it over there. Look at that. Oh, Look at that cross. Now you get it nice on the side. That dough's all cooked. That is great. It's just kind of going. We're gonna have to let these sit for like two and a half hours because <laughs> not it's that like long. I'm not waiting that long. You're crazy. So much molten stuff inside of oh it. Oh my god, nice crust right there. And now look at that side. I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not, but that is that is phenomenal. All right, let's throw them right on, the, on the pizza. Let's get them right out of here, Jeff. This this one must be yours because it's like so that's yeah, there's like four pounds of meat in it. Look at this. Watch your knuckles. Ah, there we go. And Chris? All right. One, two, three? You're gonna, one, two, three. Three. Done! <laughs> Stromboli on the Blackstone Griddle, guys. Yes, we did do it. We'll let you know how it tastes. We'll be in there a little bit. All right, guys. So, this is a taste test. My beautiful wife, June. Uncle Don. <laughs> Move it or not. Mm. All right. So. So what'd you end up having? You had the uh, Italian stromboli, the right? Italian. It's great. A lot of flavor. Kind of crispy? No, that's what I was afraid of. It isn't. It's chewy, which gives you even better flavor. Mm. Yep. Chewy. I mean, the more you chew it, the more flavor comes through. Absolutely. Out. Tons of flavor. It's all packed in there. I'm getting yep. so many different tastes, which is great. But I agree, it's not crispy. When we cut it, it felt like it was crispy, right, Jeff? Yeah. No, it's right. not. Um, when you gave me this little piece, yep. I said, oh, man, I'm not going to taste anything. I'm going to taste the sauce. Or... No, it's loaded with flavor. Yeah, it really is. What's your take, honey? It's very good. You like it? I can't hear you. <laughs> it's very good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you speak on Jeff's volume. Wow, wow, nice. All right, guys, so we're going to wrap this up. Uh, Definitely worth a try. I mean, know. it was fun to cook. I had I enjoyed cooking with Jeff. It was a lot of fun. Would I do this again? Oh, so much better without Nate, right? <laughs> I wasn't saying that. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'll put words in my mouth. Well, that's what you said in the kit. Oh, 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 anyways, oh, forget yeah. it. Was that on film? Yeah, no. <laughs> much better than just the, this pizza was great. Yeah, pizza came out yeah. really good. It came out. Yeah. But this has more flavor. I think, you know, we tried it. I, I wouldn't do it again. I think this is so meant to be work? cooked in an oven. That's just my opinion. It's just meant to be cooked in an oven. I think it gets more crispy. It gets easy to cook. I mean, we had to work hard on that thing to keep turning it. Yeah. I mean, it was good. I'm glad we tried it. I just... I think it's worth a try. It's because worth a try. It, it gives it's fun you a little to be outside flavor. cooking. It was fun yeah. to put it together. Um, but again, I yeah. I mean, the crust, I thought, I was, was going to be very excited about it, but it didn't come through like I thought. Not crispy, but it has a lot of flavor. Oh, tons of flavor. It actually is very juicy inside. It's juicy. really good. It's not dry and it's not overcooked. Okay. <laughs> All right, so wrapping it up. Wrapping it up. Guys, we liked it. It's worth a try. It's not uh, not our favorite meal, but it's definitely a good one. And uh, it's definitely very tasty. like, subscribe, check us out on uh, Instagram. We're the, the Real Griddle Guys. The on Real Griddle Guys. Yeah, and uh, we got our website up and uh, the Griddle Guys. Too. Check us out on Facebook, The Griddle Guys. Anyways, thanks again. Thanks for looking out, guys. Hit See the you bell. Soon.